Welcome to What America's Thinking for Monday, February 10th. I'm Jamal Simmons. Last week, President Trump was acquitted of impeachment charges. Trump wasted no time in retaliating. The president removed two key impeachment witnesses from their posts, U.S. Ambassador to the European Union Gordon Sunderland and Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. He even removed Vindman's twin brother. You may remember Sondland as the witness who said everybody was in the know when it came to Ukraine. This email was sent to Secretary Pompeo, Secretary Perry, Brian McCormick, who is Secretary Perry's chief of staff at the time, Ms. Kenna, who is the acting, pardon me, who is the executive secretariat for Secretary Pompeo, Chief of Staff Mulvaney, and Mr. Mulvaney's senior advisor, Rob Blair. A lot of senior officials. A lot of senior officials. Here is my exact quote from that email. I talked to Zelensky just now. He is prepared to receive POTUS's call. We'll assure him that he intends to run a fully transparent investigation and will turn over every stone. He would greatly appreciate a call prior to Sunday so that he can put out some media about a friendly and productive call, no details, prior to Ukraine election on Sunday. Chief of Staff Mulvaney responded, I asked the NSC to set it up for tomorrow. Everyone was in the loop. Everyone was in the loop. The impeachment ruling leaves Democrats bruised amidst a primary season that's starting to ramp up. Intra-party fighting, soaking concerns of a brokered convention, and a weakened nominee that could be headed into the November election against a strong President Trump. As we know, impeachment news blocked out the sun for the months the process was taking place. While it was a historic time in our country, some have criticized the amount of media coverage it received, leaving other important stories on the back burner. So we want to know what you think. We asked, has there been too much or too little media coverage of the impeachment of Donald Trump, or has it been just the right amount? We found almost half of voters feel there's been too much impeachment coverage. 48% said so. 15% say it's had too little media coverage, and 37% say there's been just the right amount. If we take a look at this by party, Democrats were the least likely to say impeachment had too much media coverage. 36% said that. A majority of GOP and independent voters said it had too much, 60% and 50, respectively. What about you? Do you think the media has been too focused on impeachment? Now that the impeachment process is over, what do you hope news media talks about now? Let us know in the comments. Is there something the Hill Harris X poll isn't covering, but you think we ought to be taking a look at? Let us know in the comments or tweet us at Hill TV Live using the hashtag WhatWAT. Thanks for watching What America's Thinking. As always, you can catch more great content from Hill TV by subscribing to the Hill's YouTube channel. Just click the bell so you know when new videos get posted. And head to thehill.com for all the latest political news. You can also find me at Jamal Simmons on Twitter and at Real Jamal Simmons on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time.